new year new me and all that can't believe i just said that that's disgusting Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have got such an exciting video today. It's been a while since I did a Zara haul. I was meant to do one last month, but the order took weeks to arrive and then Christmas happened and then the haul didn't happen and yeah. But that means today's one is gonna be a big one. I've got a lot of stuff to show you. I've got not one, not two, not three or four, not five, but six, and this one is a giant one, six Zara parcels worth of stuff to get through. I had 15 Zara parcels stacked up in my room over the Christmas period. I normally have like my brother's room as my storage for my parcels, but they were home for Christmas, which meant I had to store them in my own room. I'm not used to that, first of all problems. But yeah, that was something I dealt with. Um, the parcels ended up looking like a Christmas tree in my room. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd have seen it. If not, make sure you go and follow me over on there because I post lots of like outfit pictures, a lot of this Zara stuff sold and things like that. Also, before I forget, I'm just gonna say you might wanna subscribe this month. I've got a lot of exciting content coming up. Um, um, two weeks today from the day I'm filming this um, I've got something quite exciting happening so there's gonna be a lot of exciting Instagram and YouTube content so make sure you're subscribed and follow my Instagram blah 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 but anyway without me blabbering this will be a try and haul as always everything will be linked down below and I'm just gonna get on with the video because we could be here for a while so starting off I'm actually gonna start with something that isn't in any of the parcels because I've tried it on and I'm in love with it so this I saw on the website and literally fell in love with it straight away I knew it was gonna be a popular piece so I bought it right away I have now seen that this item is in the sale for like £30 cheaper than I bought it for and I'm kind of gutted and I am trying to like get my hands on it at the sale price so I can return this one and get the cheaper one. But it's just out of stock and it doesn't look like it's happening. But anyway, you might have seen this on Sophia from Sophia and Chins' Instagram because she has this. Absolutely love it. And it's like this kind of aviator type jacket. It's like a suede type material on the middle with this like faux leather brown detailing. So this is the back and it's got like a kind of hot cross bun type thing. Like you know on a hot cross bun you have this like cross thing. That's what that looks like. And then on the front, it's like that in the kind of body torso bit, but on the sleeves, it's like this teddy material. Now, I've never really been a fan of the whole like teddy coat type thing. I've never owned one, never really got into it, but this I just love. Like, I just love the kind of mix and match. And then the inside is all fluffy there, but then on the sleeves, it's kind of like the reverse. So it's like um, the suede material that's on the outside, if you get what I mean. But yeah, I love this. It is so nice. It was £89.99, so a very, very expensive jacket, but it is so nice and it like feels such good quality. But yeah, I'm gonna try and get the one that's now 59.99 in the sale because I just love it so much, but I don't think I really wanna spend 90 pound on it. But anyway, yeah, that's the first item. I am just a big lover. I am even more obsessed with this jacket now that I've got it on. I just love it. I've paired it with like this white shirt dress, but it's a little bit too big for me. Like it's way too long, so I need to get it altered. So I'm just kind of holding up the time being, but this is kind of how I'd wear it with some like high top trainers or something. And I just love it. It's the perfect oversized fit without being too much. Like I said, I'm a size six and this is an extra small. So I reckon I could get away with a small, but any larger it might be a little bit too big so just something to bear in mind with sizes it's quite oversized anyway and yeah I absolutely love it it fits so nicely I haven't actually tried it done up but it would kind of look a bit like that but I personally prefer it open I just think it looks nicer and then for the back that's just what it looks like I mean my hair has literally covered most of that um but yeah this is a jacket and I absolutely love it then actually carrying on with kind of like teddy jackets type things this one was a lot cheaper this one was put in the sale before the whole kind of boxing day sale thing and I've seen quite a few people on Instagram in this and stuff so it's a little bit of a different material this one's a little bit more fluffy less kind of teddy like more like young fluffy cockapoo puppy type material type thing but yeah this one is like a green padded jacket and it's got the fluffy bit at the top and then the kind of traditional puffer sort of material at the bottom and then on the back and sleeve it's literally all just the white material it does come with a hood as well that have got these like toggles in so you can kind of tighten it it pops down the middle and this was originally 29.99 i think or was that the sale price i'm not too sure but anyway this one is obviously a lot cheaper really nice and warm and fluffy and kind of also lightweight like the padded material is lightweight Wait, but this bit is nice and thick so it's kind of like the good balance but yeah this one I don't love as much as the first one the first one I'm just obsessed with but if you want a cheaper version that's a bit more of like a coat type thing because of the patternness this is perfect okay then we always have this one which again is a nice oversized fit um super comfy and clothes and I feel like it does actually kind of work well with this shirt dress I wasn't actually planning to wear it together but anyway so it's quite versatile it's super comfy and cozy nice and oversized and it's just it's just a comfortable jacket, like it's squishy and warm and lovely. Then for some Limitless Contour Collection stuff, because I love the Zara Limitless Contour Collection stuff, it is just so good. I'm wearing the white bodysuit from the Limitless Contour Collection now, and I did actually also wear the black one, because I love this white one so much that I thought I might as well get the black. So it just looks like this. The only thing I don't really like about these bodysuits is they're not popper. So when you want to go to the toilet, you've fully got to, you know, take everything off, which is a bit of a pain. But I can kind of forgive them for that, because the material of this is so nice. They're like ribbed. 
um, but then on the inside they're really smooth and they're like so stretchy and flattering on this one was 12.99 but again it is now in the sale a lot of these things i'm showing are in the sale so that's perfect you can save a bit of money i got this in an extra small to small which is the same size that i have this one in um yeah simple little black bodysuit and then to go well to kind of go with it from the same sort of collection I got the Limitless Contour Black Leggings. Now, these are constantly out of stock, really hard to get your hands on. Um, and they came back in stock in a medium to large rather than an extra small to small. But I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to order them and try them. And they actually look tiny. I think because the whole Limitless Contour Collection stuff is so stretchy, these would work either for an extra small to small or for the medium to large, if that makes sense. Like, they're quite tight anyway, so they just won't need to stretch as much for me, if that makes sense, because I'm a smaller size. So I'm thinking and hoping I might be able to make them work. These are 15. 99 and I just wanted some like good quality leggings again they are ribbed and um, that's just kind of the whole limitless contour thing but yeah just some stretchy leggings I'm hoping they'll fit but we'll have to wait and see I thought I might as well try the bodysuit and leggings on together it obviously makes sense they're kind of a cohort and I love them I wasn't expecting to kind of wear them together I was planning on wearing them separately but they actually look so nice together so to start with the bodysuit fits perfectly I kind of already knew that because like I said I've got the white one um but yeah it fits perfectly so comfy I love it and then for the leggings I've been wanting some leggings that are high-waisted and nice and tight because the normal kind of basic leggings that I wear I never wear them with bodysuits because it doesn't look very nice however these leggings with this bodysuit looks perfect so the leggings are super high-waisted they go up to here and I could probably like pull them up higher if I really wanted to go for like a Simon Cowell moment and they are so tight like the waistband on these leggings is so tight so like it's really nice and like flattering my waist really figure hugging and I feel like together this looks almost a bit like a jumpsuit because obviously they're matching and they're just seamless it's literally a seamless outfit it looks so good I'd wear this just chucking a jacket on the top whether it's a denim jacket white shirt whatever I love it. I literally love this outfit. Then for an accessory, I did think this would work quite well with this outfit. And I was going to wear one of my like big chunky gold necklaces with this. But then I've got my little dainty Tiffany one on and I thought it kind of worked as well. But anyway, um, this was £15.99 and it's this chunky gold necklace. These are so in at the moment. I love them. This one goes slightly chunkier as it goes further down. I don't know if that'll be noticeable on camera. But like it's a big, thick, chunky chain necklace. But these ringlets are kind of a little bit thinner than these ones. And these ones go super, super chunky. And then just for lengthwise, it goes like it has that much on the back. So it'll probably sit around here, which is a perfect length you kind of want for these chunky necklaces. Again, this is in the sale. It's quite hard to get hands on. But if you keep an outfit, you probably will be able to. Um, but yeah, this with this, I feel like would look so nice. You can wear such a simple outfit. Chuck on a big, chunky statement necklace. And it, it just works. I love it. Okay, we'll carry on with accessories because this one's top of the box. And again, this is a very influencer popular piece. So this is like... Like the quilted um nude little bag it comes with a black extendable strap i kind of prefer if this was nude i mean i get that it's kind of like a statement and a contrast but i personally would prefer it to like tie in but you can take that off just like that um and it comes off and then you've just got like a cute little bag like this it's kind of like a puffer jacket type thing it's not like waterproof like that but it's like a quilted puffy material and then on the inside it just looks like that so it's pretty open but then there is like a kind of little pocket there that you could put your card holder in or your keys or a lipstick or something and yeah just a cute little bag i've seen a lot of people wear it. it's quite easy to style quite cute a little bit different because the material this is 59.99 not 59.99 15.99 a lot difference in price but yeah cute little bag that's that and then uh yeah why not let's just go over another accessory because again it's on the top of the bag this one is like a contrast necklace it's got the silver and it's got the gold and i quite like this i've seen quite a few of these things from zara where they mix gold and silver together and i think it does kind of work it is also a little bit like um Jekyll and Hyde and whatever that musical is with the half painted face kind of thing like you can kind of be a bit of both so the gold one is like a kind of twisted chain almost it looks like it's been like you know probably strawberry lace and then you like do it like that that's what the gold one looks like and then the silver side is more of like an open ring chain type thing I'll hold it there so you can hopefully see it a bit better but whether that was in focus or not I don't know uh this was 12.99 and I just think it's a little bit different um I like how not only they two different colors but they're two different types of necklace as well. I just think it's a little bit interesting. Going away from the big box again, I thought I'd go for the small box because I remember there was something in here which I quite liked. So this is a blazer, just a simple nude blazer. I love blazers. They are so easy to throw on. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I'm in love with a navy blazer at the moment, which I wear all the time. So I thought I'd get a different one. This one is a nude one. It's got shoulder pads in it. So it's going to give you a little bit of structure, a bit of a boxy shape. Um, and it, yeah, it's kind of just a simple nude blazer, basically. There's not a load to it. Um, there's not really any like pleating detail or anything in particular it is just a classic blazer so as you can see it just has two buttons here pockets here which are fake um yep uh 
I was just trying to work out if you could like unstitch them, but I think they're pretty much stitched up. I got this one in an extra small, which is the smallest size they do it in because often Zara blazers are oversized anyway, so I don't feel the need to size up. And this one was um, la, 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 $49.99, but I have seen it in the sale. Um, again, pretty much all these things in the sale now, so I need to stop saying that. But yeah, timeless piece, simple and classic, can't really go wrong. Chuck it on with some jeans, white shirt, bodysuit, whatever. You can kind of dress it up, dress it down, wear it as a dress, wear it as a jacket, whatever. It works perfectly. I love blazers. As expected, this is just a classic timeless blazer. I feel like this will never go out of fashion. Like, it's just always going to be something that you can chuck on and wear. I've obviously worn it with the shirt dress, which is kind of a more smart way to wear it, but you could easily casual it down. I feel like this simple bodysuit, mum jeans, whatever, would look so nice as well. So, yeah, so many ways to wear it, and I also feel like so many times to wear it. Like, I feel like this could be on your wardrobe for literal, like, years. Like, it's not one of them things that will go out of fashion in a couple of months, whatever. I feel like this is always just going to be a classic, lovely blazer that you can chuck on for whatever. And then this is it without me holding the dress because you might want to see it a little bit better. Um, that's it done up and then that's just kind of how it fits. Then I got this which I saw on um, someone. Who did I see this on? I saw it on someone on Instagram I think and was like oh my god how have I not seen that on the Zara website because I probably spend more time on there than I do on like Twitter. Um, anyway this is just like a... I've got it back to front. This is a knitted wool jumpsuit. Um, so it's just got little straps here and it's like a long leg jumpsuit. But it's kind of like a loungewear comfy cosy piece. So like I said, bit of a wool material. I don't know if it's going to be itchy when it's on because sometimes this kind of material is. But it's a lovely kind of mink brown colour. Um, just got these little straps and then there is a slight kind of stitching detail around the boobs. It probably won't be noticeable with me holding it up. It might be one of them things that you need to kind of wear it on to see. And then yeah, it just goes down. It looks like it's going to be quite nice and flattering on the waist. It's a really thick material, like I said, perfect for lounging around or running errands and there is a matching cardigan which I did try and get but it's like completely out of stock um it might be in stock now but I don't know this was 25 99 though and like I said with the cardigan it would look so nice because it's the exact same colour and it's like a kind of long sleeve maxi cardigan it looks so comfy but you could chuck it on with a pair of air force or something and then go out the house so yeah super simple kind of versatile piece you could wear it in or out the house like I said and yeah little jumpsuit cute as expected it is a little bit itchy it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be but there is definitely a slight sort of itch to it. It's not the most comfortable thing. Like, it's a little bit itchy and scratchy, basically. Itchy and scratchy Simpson show kind of vibes. Um, but I feel like it's really flattering. I think it looks quite nice. Can't really see very well on the camera because it's quite far away. But from what I can see, I think it looks quite nice. It's nice and comfy, really stretchy, also really good length. Like, um, it goes right down to the bottom of my leg, like perfect fit, and I'm five foot five, which I feel like. I think is average height for a girl obviously um but yeah this is it I feel like it's quite nice and like I said with the matching cardigan I think it'd be so cute then I got a skirt which I don't really ever get like I don't really wear skirts but this was in the sale so I just thought I might as well um the original price was 25.99 but I don't know what the sale price was I got this in an extra small and it said it's a leather skirt but um oh yeah okay it is so it looks like a skirt um, on both the front and the back but there are little shorts in it which I actually quite like because you know when you're like going out and it's a windy day you don't want to like worry about your skirt going up so the fact you've got shorts and underneath is quite good but yeah it's kind of like a green colour I think I think it's like a dark greeny grey and it's this leather skirt um, it's got these pop it, pop it, pop it, pockets with pop pockets with poppers on it um, on both sides which I think is quite nice detailing and then it zips down the back as well so you can get it on easier but yeah just a little skirt not something I normally go for but new year new me and all that can't believe I just said that that's disgusting this is kind of roughly how I was wearing on planning the skirt I was hoping this shirt would kind of like fold over a bit more I'd want a bit more of a baggy shirt and then also I'd maybe like undo the buttons a bit more just so it's a bit more like exposed kind of thing just for like a night out or something but um at the moment I kind of look like a secretary or something because the shirt's not big enough and it just doesn't work. But anyway, that's my rough kind of idea. Um, the skirt itself is really nice, feels really good quality, looks really luxurious and kind of, um, again, looks really nice quality. However, the fact that the shorts are built inside and it's a skirt means you can't really pull the skirt up. Like, I would personally prefer to have the skirt sitting a little bit more high-waisted, but because you've obviously got the shorts inside, you can't really pull it up very much. Also, it's not as tight on my waist as I'd want it to be. It's like kind of a bit gapy and baggy. It'd be a bit more flattering for me if... Um, it was a bit tighter, I mean if you really wanted to you could get it altered or whatever, um, but yeah it doesn't quite fit me properly and um, the whole like high waisted, not high waistedness I don't really like. Okay again something I wouldn't normally wear but these were in the sale, I think these are like 15 99 in the sale so I thought I might as well get them, um, give them a go. These are some mum jeans, uh, they are slightly ripped, I say slightly ripped, they've got a massive rip in the knee, they are ripped. 
and then the bottom is like distressed and I love jeans when they're like this when they're not like clean cut when they've got like a distressed edge and yeah they're just classic fit mum jeans they say um it rips on both knees this one is actually quite extreme and then there's a little one there and they're a lovely light blue color I love this color I think this is so nice for jeans I got these in a I don't know what size did I get these in okay I got these ones in a UK four and then I did also get another pair um here of the same jeans in a UK six because I didn't know what would fit me better I know mum jeans are quite of a size so I thought I'd get both um yeah okay so these are the size six ones which is my normal size and these actually fit me perfectly in fact they're a little bit tight on my crotch they're not too bad but they are ever so slightly tight so I don't think I'd even be able to get the four on I think they'd be way too tight around here so definitely stick true to size um potentially even size up if you wanted them that bit baggier but yeah I definitely think sizing down would be too tight but for these ones which like I said are my normal size um fit me perfectly around the waist like these are literally perfect normally jeans are so baggy around my waist and then they're like tight on my bum whatever and I can't get them to fit like my bum and my waist together but these actually fit perfectly they're nice and tight on my bum which is what i like and they fit me around the waist perfectly don't need a belt or anything like these as you can see are literally perfect and then obviously because they're mum jeans they do go baggier um if i can get my leg up which might be a bit hard because these are quite restrictive because they're tight um you can kind of oh my god i'm gonna fall over you can kind of see that they're like baggy here um so they're quite tight on my thighs and around here and then from my knees down they go kind of baggy then i got some boots these again were in the sale so i thought why not might as well try them these okay we'll get this one out because everyone doesn't want to come out of the bag they're like these um just classic black boots this bit honestly feels so nice so you know when you touch material that is so smooth and you actually can't believe it's that smooth and it just feels heavenly that's what that feels like so it's like that on the heel and then the front kind of toe bit but then this bit here I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera that they're different textures but this bit is almost a bit like a kind of waterproof feeling material and then it goes back to the really smooth bit just at the top as like a little bit of detailing and then it just laces up down the middle there aren't any zips or anything so you do have to undo the laces every time you want to put them on but that's fine they're kind of chunky but not too chunky they do kind of remind me of the boots of the guy in home alone but anyway i do kind of like them and i feel like these would look really nice with shirt dresses and stuff as well because they're quite like kind of tall but not too tall they'd also work really well with leather with leather, with leather, with leather, with leather leggings jeans leggings etc etc oh and these were 33.59 that is the most random price i think i've ever seen and i got them in a size five which is the normal size that i get boots in from zara okay then i got this which you might have seen in a previous zara haul um this is the snake skin little city bag and i fell in love with it in that haul but i had literally just bought a new bag and i've got so many bags anyway and this was 25.99 so i was like hmm can't really justify it however next time i place it on order this is in the sale so i got this for 15.99 so basically 10 pound cheaper no it literally is £10 cheaper anyway so I was like perfect that's exactly what I wanted like I wanted it a little bit cheaper and then I feel like I could justify it so yeah just snake skin got this beautiful detailing here which I love it has got an extendable strap within the bag and then also obviously the little straps and I just love this I feel like the snake skin adds a little bit of like extra something to an outfit without being too over the top I'm not normally a fan of animal I'm not I'm not normally a fan of animal print but this one I love I feel like it's quite a nice dark sort of color very monochrome um so works well the outfits I sort of wear not too over the top but just a little bit of like added detail then I got this which was a little bit of like a random type thing um so it's like a kind of bag charm type thing I'm guessing you could like wear it around your neck if you wanted to but it would look a bit weird but um i suppose you could like keep this in your bag or something the necklacey part you can actually like undo so you could just have it as like a kind of keyring type thing um but on here it's like a little black card holder you then have a little airpods case and then also this like little lipstick case which i think is so kind of like retro old-fashioned and it like clips like that and then there's a little mirror in there so you can like see what you do when you put your lipstick on and i just thought this was so cute this was 19.99 but i think it's a little bit cheaper now in the sale um but yeah i thought this was really sweet i have airpods i have cards i have lipstick so i thought if you've got like a really big bag you know when you're trying to like find something in your bag and it's like so big and it's just swimming all over the place this is quite a good thing to like have all your kind of things that you need to grab quickly that you use often all together and because they're together it's just easier to find them and then lastly for today's haul i have these i have got some more zara hauls coming up though don't worry i've got some really good things in them as well because i have already ordered them 
I can't seem to stop buying things on Zara, so I just order a lot of things at once. Um, so yeah, there'll be another Zara haul coming literally in a couple of weeks. But anyway, the last item for this haul are these. Again, not something I'd normally go for. So these are some leather joggers. So they're kind of baggy, but they're leather. So I'm kind of like, are you trying to be comfy or are you trying to be like cool and casual, not cool and casual, but like cool and trendy with the leather? Like it's kind of an in-between. And these aren't black. These are like a, I was going to say a chocolatey brown colour, but they're not. They're actually a very dark brown, almost black. But they are brown. You can kind of see on the, um, like, toggle things here they've got a really elasticated waist and they've also got um little pulley tie things so you can make them nice and tight which i really like because when i'm wearing joggers i want them to be tight on my waist to be flattering and then tight on my ankles and then a little bit baggy on the legs and these are like that because they've also got elasticated hems on the bottom i don't know what these are going to look like on but you'll see in the trial and clips but yeah we shall see we shall see i don't know what's happened to these joggers but it's like they're from the petite section, even though they weren't. Now, I'm five foot five, which I think is pretty much average height for a girl. But as you can see, they're not very high-waisted. I would normally have my trousers, like, pulled up to here. Um, but I can't actually do that because, like, I just... There's no more material. I can't pull them up any higher. So they're a little bit tight on my crotch as well for that reason. And then, on my ankles, like, my leg is bent. So when um, my legs are straight and stuff, the material kind of goes down to there. But that's still, like, an inch or so above my ankle. And then when I bend my leg, obviously, as you can see... There's like three inches on my ankle on show, so they feel like they're made for someone who's petite, but they weren't advertised as that. But yeah, that is everything for this hour haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Also, go over and follow my Instagram, because I will be styling some of these bits, as well as other Zara bits and things like that over on there. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. Happy New Year, everyone, as well. I know this isn't my first video of 2021, but it's my second one. Um, so happy New Year. Starting the year how I mean to go on with a lot of Zara hauls. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you at some point soon with another one. Bye! Ready, steady, say hi. <laughs> hi, you showing everyone the sock you've got?